Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is time for seven minutes in the morning. I am back. It is Monday. You are here and we're about to get started. Stay tuned. Hey, so for those of you watching on the video, thanks for putting up with that little intro. Uh, that's actually, I put that there for the folks that listen on the podcast, um, just because I like it. So, which reminds me, there are many different ways to stay caught up with me and, and caught up with seven minutes in the morning. Watching the video is just one. The uh, podcast gets produced and released uh, 10 or 15 minutes after we're done here. You can find that on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, TuneIn, whatever your, your favorite podcast listener is. If you're listening on the podcast, you can come over and watch us do it live on Facebook. It even shows up on YouTube. So the whole point of doing that, it's funny because I'm talking about overwhelm uh, today, the whole point of doing that is to make it easier for you so you can find it in the venue that fits with your patterns, your lifestyle, uh, and whatnot. So if you are uh, listening on the po- on the on one of the podcast catchers, come over and watch us on the video. And if you're watching the video, check out the podcast. You might find something you recognize. So welcome uh back to monday uh the the monday after thanksgiving i took thursday and friday off we're going to talk about that uh today that's kind of the topic of today's show uh but it's monday time to get back at it and that's okay and honestly i've kind of been back at it since saturday when we were driving back last week we went out to houston and uh spent the week with our granddaughter let our uh, daughter and her husband kind of have a break and uh at any rate and and did a little a little bit of a home improvement project if you haven't seen that the pic there are some of the pictures are up on the on my facebook page i'll get the rest of them up there today i did finish most of it but we'll actually talk about that some uh, as we get through the week today also listen when you get here if you're watching live <clears throat> or if you're watching on the replay Leave me a comment down there like uh, Joe has already done. Good morning, Joe. Let me know that you're here. I appreciate that. And it sets Facebook up to keep you engaged in the conversation. So this week I want to talk about um, overwhelm and burnout. It is, we are getting into that time of year. Thanksgiving is the official kickoff in my book. of the uh, Not of the holiday season, but of the overwhelm season. That's right, the overwhelm season. There's just too much to do and too little time to do it. And I feel all this pressure to do it and just, ah. That's what we want to talk about this week. That's what I want to talk about this week and give you a strategy by the end of the week. Give you a strategy to uh, deal with that. Before we get there, though, I want to talk to you about some of the signs and symptoms because a lot of people we get so used to living, working, running our day-to-day life this way that it doesn't feel like we're overwhelmed. So I want to give you a couple of signs to look for. We'll talk about those as we go through the week this week, and then uh, we'll get to that strategy by the end of the week. All right, so number one, the thing I want to talk to you about today has to do with me taking uh, Thursday and Friday off last week. You can't relax and you can't find a way to recharge. Right, We work hard all day long just to get home. And then when we get home, it's no easier. So we we struggle through the week. We work hard all week to get to the weekend. And I just can't sit down and relax. I, I didn't finish that report I need to work on. I didn't get all my emails out. I didn't, what you know, whatever. And then so you continue working on that. I I mean, I've said for a long time, School teaches us how to be good employees, right? And among the things that school teaches us is to take work home and do it for free at night and over the weekend. And while that might be necessary sometimes, it's not practical from a prolonged perspective. You might be committing to too much, getting trying to get too much done, 
but more than likely you don't really know the outcome that you're trying to create so you're just trying to do a bunch create a bunch of activity that looks like movement don't mistake activity for progress don't mistake activity for progress you can actually make progress sitting still being calm being quiet every morning and I, I mean I've kind of made it a big deal with the grandkids this is pops big red chair the chair that I'm sitting in this morning this is where they can come and sit and talk to me about stuff and I want to brand this in their mind you know this is pops big red chair every morning I come in here and I sit in the chair I've got a little heater over there to warm my toes put my earbuds in and I do my meditation sitting right here in this chair that's it's only 10 minutes but it's 10 minutes of peace and quiet and calm that helps get everything focused and gives me the ability to focus and get recharged for the day and I do that first thing in the morning if you can't do that by the end of the day man something's something is a miss for you all right so that is sign or symptom number one you can't relax you can't recharge I mean as much as I and I really do I love doing these videos I love talking to you every morning as much as I love doing them I you know you have to prioritize and on Thursday and Friday I prioritized setting this aside for a couple of days so I can focus on being present uh, and getting my project done I was working on there and and that you know I've told you before too cutting the grass for me is relaxing even though it's you know two and a half acres there's a lot of grass to cut it's a relaxing thing for me because of how I'm able to focus when I'm doing that so if you find if you find it difficult to relax to recharge if you can't if you can't find the time in your day to sit down and spend 20 minutes reading a book then you might be on the path to burnout and overwhelm experiencing overwhelm on the path to burnout so we're going to be talking about that we've got a few more signs and symptoms to look for this week and then by the end of the week we're going to be talking about a strategy to help you deal with overwhelm as we are heading into the overwhelm and burnout season so be sure and stay tuned for that Listen, if you have uh, if you have any particular tips, tricks, tactics for uh, relaxing, recharging, just something you like to do, whether it's a place you like to go to get away, leave that down in the comments. Tell me what you do to relax and recharge. I love hearing those ideas. We can share that with the rest of the community here and give everyone else an idea also. All right. That's it for today. We'll be back again tomorrow. Be sure and tune in same time, same channel right here on Facebook, on uh, iTunes, on YouTube, wherever you happen to be watching or listening. I will be here and I will talk to you then. Have a great Monday. Take care.